what's going on? So what we have today is another Roven XLT 450 video. Um, before we get into it, this is kind of just me going over what I did to it, what I still have yet to do with it, and um, not really what my expectations are, but just kind of an overview of the model itself. So I wanted to talk about this stock air cleaner and intake assembly before we got into the video because I forgot to mention it when I was doing the overview of it. I changed this out because I felt like this is kind of a restrictive design, you know, air coming in here, going this way, and then going back that way. So what I did is I went with the LT filter. It was a straight through design. I am going to have to cut a hole in the body, but I'm okay with that. I'm going to test it without the body for now, but if it works, I'm okay with it. So we'll get into the, the rest of the video here and see you guys later. Let's talk about this for a little bit. So here I got my XLT450 and um, this is after I've done all my upgrades. Get the lid off. See what it looks like. So as you can see, it almost looks stock, but what you can't see is what I've done inside the motor and what you can see is the new pipe. So this is the Roven pipe for the LT and this is for the 71cc motor. Um, what you can see is it is a one piece pipe and it's all about this expansion chamber here. It's a beautiful pipe and I do like the way how it just look at Oh, nice. This just clears the chassis there. Beautiful. This is going to allow for that heat and that exhaust to get out of here a whole lot faster than this stock pipe here. This thing is garbage. This one actually split there and there on the mount. I'm not going to say that one's not going to split because... It is Chinese made, and that's a crappy weld, but I'm thinking that that pipe's going to perform a hell of a lot better than this. This is garbage. I'm sure if I put a 27 or a 29 or even a 30.5 in there that this pipe would do okay, but that this is not made for a 45. And then look at how small that is. Now... If you do go with this pipe, you are going to have to take a Dremel and Dremel out in here on the inside of the flange. And the way I did that is I took an exhaust gasket, took my exhaust gasket here, and I put the bolts in and I put it through the flange. And then I took a marker and I traced out the inside of this exhaust gasket onto the flange because this gasket's almost port matched for the motor perfectly and what you can do is just use this as a template for when you're dremeling your flange here. Then it got sealed up with some high temp silicone. That's how you get a good seal right there. Um, I port matched the motor. So everything on the motor has been port matched and polished. Not an expert, but with the research that I did I think I'll get a little bit more performance out of it because these 45s are garbage. They're put together nice, they run, but they're just garbage. Um, I ran a dual ring piston with a single ring, so I took the bottom ring off. That should help with my heat issues. What I also did is, that's, this is just a foam air cleaner for the Roven LT. Um, so what I did is put an outer wares on it. This is the plastic one because looking at the pictures, um, the aluminum one doesn't look like it's going to flow as good as the, the plastic one and it's already going to pull through foam. So I went with the plastic one. What I also want to do here is I'm going to put a double hole grommet in here. And then get rid of this breather and I'm going to put a breather 
into the cap just to clean this up a little bit because I don't really particularly like the way that that looks. With this air cleaner, I am going to have to cut a hole in the body. I really don't want to do that. So I'm going to test it first before I run it with the body on. But if I have to, I will because I eventually want to put a velocity stack in front of that carburetor to see if I get any more performance out of it. And I did order um, the cage for the top of the motor for an MTXL and see if that'll fit. Because if you look, there's nothing supporting the, the body here. So if you roll this body over on its roof, there's nothing there. You're going to crush it. Crush that body. So other than that, the only other thing I did is I put a 2S life pack in there. I think it's like a 2200 ma. And... Oh, so this is about 99% there. I want to talk about these again. These turnbuckles, the rod ends. Get that to focus. There's a little brass retainer. You can see it right there. Um, they vibrate out. I've been pressing them back in. I think it's like an 8 or a 9 or a 10 millimeter socket or something like that. I just press them back in with. Um, what I'm going to do is actually, this was a suggestion, this was a suggestion from Botagel and what you're going to do is just put a little bit of green Loctite on there. So there it is. It's all back together and I'm going to do the first test fire on it and see how it goes. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. All right, so I forgot to talk about this when I took the original video. So when you get this pipe, the 71cc pipe for the LT, you get this mounting bracket, the pipe, and a bunch of hardware. The problem is, is this bracket is meant for the LT and not the XLT. So what you have to do is pull these bolts out that bolt your shock tower to the diff case and put a longer bolt through. And I actually used the carburetor bolts from another motor and they work perfectly. You get three lock nuts. And then you also, when you take off the original mounting hardware for the uh, stock pipe, you get another lock nut. So using those four lock nuts, I came up with this. So you put your bolts through, they thread into here, and then you got excess thread sticking out. I ended up putting the lock nuts on, snugged them up, and then I got two washers for a spacer, the bracket, and then another lock nut on each side, and this is snug, tight, done. Then I bolted the pipe to the motor, found out where this is going to sit naturally, and I drilled a new hole through this mounting bracket, because you can see there that mounting hole does not line up because as I said this pipe's designed for the LT and not the XLT. So after that I put a one of the bolts through it's an M5 bolt and then I took that's the spacer from the stock pipe a washer lock washer and then an M5 nut and then I put a couple more washers for a spacer another washer and then I put a nut there to hold it all together now this is tight this is just temporary until I can come up with a permanent solution that looks a lot cleaner what I'm gonna do is I'm probably gonna take a piece of brake line steel brake line and make a spacer out of it so it looks a lot better and then get a nice lock nut for the top of that but this is just to test it for now um, you are gonna have to take a grinder just grind a little bit of this meat out of here, but you want to leave, you got to leave this here because this is kind of like a gusset plate, holds it all together. So that's how I mounted this up. Um, and it works pretty good and it's solid. And you know, with this being a one piece pipe, 
the vibrations from the motor are going to transfer here so you want this to be solid um now like i said i'm not expecting this not to crack but it might and if that is i'll just get it tigged or buy a new one so but like i said just wanted to touch on that uh, so there you go